Hey guys, it's Tanika Pantoa, and today I'd like to have a little casual conversation with you. It's a piece of advice that I would have wanted to give myself 5 to 10 years ago, and to prospective artists who feel frustrated about their place with their craft. Now, I've done discussions about working on personal projects, personal art, making your own content, and talks about staying motivated, building that persistence. Lately, we've been getting news about animation productions being shut down, cancelled, and hearing news of people losing their jobs. As of right now, I'm at the cusp of wrapping up on a personal project myself. It's taken me a long time, and I've noticed a change in my relationship with my work and my own personal goals. Maybe age has something to do with it. There were times in the past when I finished a long-term project, I felt like I made a big mistake sacrificing so much of my time and effort on these projects. I always felt like this every time I finished a short film. It wasn't until recently I recognized why that was. So when most of us start a project, whether it's a film, a piece of art, or content, we have a goal that keeps us going. When I made student films in the past, my goal was to get job opportunities at major animation studios. Sure, there might have been other goals and objectives I wanted to hit, but getting that opportunity was a deciding factor. That was the sole reason for my student films. And when it came to projects after school, so I'm already working, I wanted studios to see me in a different light. I assumed that if I did this one thing, I would expect a certain result back. In other words, I do this, I get this. And this was a big mistake. Let me explain. I would make a short film, having this expectation of hoping that it would get me a wonderful career opportunity. In most cases, I didn't get this desired goal that I wanted, so I would refer the project as a failure, and I would start a new one hoping to get that reception, hoping to get that goal for the next one. I would start another film, but I would make something more ambitious and more complex, sacrificing a lot of time, energy, and resources. The same thing happened, didn't get the desired outcome from it. For the next film, I do the whole process again, more complex, more ambitious than the last one, really putting all my energy in. The same thing happens. Studios send me a rejection letter. Now, imagine running through the same course again and again, but each time you put more time and energy on it with your growth and skill and all that, you're not getting the outcome that you wanted. Imagine how that could build a sense of hopelessness and how that could reinforce the idea of how you're using all this time and energy and you're just wasting it. It isn't worth it at the end. I know every time I finish a project, it never was an instant gratification, but a sense of sadness, frustration, and anger because I've gone through this many, many times putting all of myself into this thing and not getting what I wanted. The problem was that in my case, I put too many of my eggs in one basket. You know, when making an animated project, I heavily focused on that one goal and when I didn't get it, I would instantly regard that project as a failure. You see, making a project shouldn't just be made for one goal only, but think about having multiple set of goals and objectives. If you don't get one, there's still chances that you'll reap the rewards of others. So I'm going to go back to the idea of short animated films because that's what I do and it's because I'm more familiar in that territory. We are going to recreate a web of possible outcomes we can come up with. And you can totally do this with your own passion projects. It doesn't have to be animation. It could just be art pieces, drawings, or other passion projects that you have in mind. One advice is to start with factors that you have complete control over, meaning that when this project is done, we can all agree that this is a circumstance that is bound to happen, and that no matter what, this is an outcome of a reward that you will get. And let's start with something realistic and small. So for this case, I'm going to put four ones I can think of right now. One is actually finishing the damn thing. Not many people who start their own thing can actually say that they finish something. A lot of people kind of give up midway. Second is I know I'm going to learn more about that craft. Third is that I'm going to now have an experience I can put in some portfolio or collective of works. The fourth is answering an inner question the problem I want to solve when tackling this project, the self-discovery bit. Now let's look at each of these. You know, when I finish a project, at least for me, it gives me a bit of peace to move on to the next. I think that alone is really good enough. For the learning experience, we can come up with other benefits from this alone. My skills get better, I get faster, smarter, I learn from my mistakes and issues I face, so I know how to minimize them in the next project. I have actual evidence of this. My first year student film was close to two minutes and it took me eight months. My final film was over six minutes long and it took me eight minutes too, same time length. I understand my pipeline and my technique better. I got faster too. Now for the portfolio part, now I have something that represents me in a way. It's something that I can use to make me stand out. 
I guess people can start recognizing my style. The fourth is answering a question. Maybe you've always wondered how to tell a funny story or you've always wanted to make a cool fight scene for your film or it could be something else that's not animation related. Maybe you're using a project to explore a theme or to focus on a study or to experiment with something. As artists, we always want to find truth in our work. We don't know that until we actually do it. You know what? I'm gonna add a fifth one, which is more like an incentive. If I finish a project, I'm going to treat myself to something nice, a gift, a treat, whatever it is. Learn to love yourself with a reward that you give to yourself for putting through with this bullshit. So all these sound really good already. I always start with these because I know they are bound to happen. I have full control over them. Now, let's think of some more where we still have a bit of control. Okay, now I'm going to move on with goals that we still have control over, but, you know, with bigger plans in mind. So I'm going to put down building an IP. By doing a short or a comic or a small story, I've established maybe a foundation of a world and characters in it that I can probably reuse if I want to extend this idea, if I want to grow it. I could further develop the story for this if I wanted to. And maybe down the line, I could develop a pitch packet where I can pitch these to a studio for a bigger animation production. I can transform the stuff that I've made for this project into monetizing practices. So for example, is like making YouTube tutorials using the files or the resources that you've made for this film. Sometimes when I sell educational courses, I you know have these files included as part of the education material. So I always try to document my process, keep my files around and archive them later on. Okay, now I'm going to move towards goals and objectives where I have less control over, but there's still a good chance that I'll still get those benefits. Things we have control over, leaving it open to the community. By putting my work publicly online, I already get exposure. For people who are willing to pay an artist exposure for free for work, ignore them, tell them they're a piece of shit, and just make a project for yourself and put it out. From there, people can learn that there's already a presence of you out there. Maybe you might not get a flock of new followers, but at least you're out there now. From there on, it's about building street cred. You could put it up on social media or even put it in communities where it kind of relates to a certain niche. This could be a good way to introduce yourself to festivals, exhibitions, and conventions. You don't know what type of reception you'll get, you know, that's still out of your control, but at least you're putting yourself out there. From this point, anything can happen. That can be scary, but sometimes you need that risk to gain some of those rewards. Okay, now I want to talk about things that we still have control over, but definitely requires time and work. This isn't just like, once you do this project, you hit that goal. Nah, this is something that spreads over multiple projects. So. I would like to build a reputation. People didn't know me when I started off putting my short films. It takes time and sometimes luck. I think my reputation grew the more things I made and the more I invested in my YouTube channel where I talk about my process and how I felt about them. For me, reputation isn't just a single project goal, but it's something, again, that grows over time with multiple projects. I know I can build a community out of this, but this doesn't always mean clout or following but becoming recognized in a collective. Being in you know, like-minded group helps. The stronger the community grows, the more I'll have the support for future projects. Resources are shared, communities support each other. This avoids things from just dying out. The last batch I wanna talk about are things we really don't have control over, but can absolutely happen. So I'm just going to make simple, you know, a simple list of goals that can happen. So um, you know, I'm gonna list down gaining popularity and clout and reach the followers, the respect, and opportunities. I know in the past, I made some of these my primary goals for my projects, but they are dependent on something external, something that I can't really predict. This could come from sheer luck, or awesome skill levels, or maybe your work has a sense of wit and cleverness to it that people flock to. Whatever it is, achieving these goals for me has always been encountered by an element of surprise. Two of my films got shared wildly. One of them even went viral at one point. So people would easily recognize my name. Sometimes I would only build a small following and sometimes it would be a huge, massive amount of following. It's like a community, but it's more of a fan base. Respect? Well, I can see how people can see how much hard work I put into something, but do they see me as someone they'd want to keep around? Do they see me as something that they desire? <laughs> Opportunities. You know, sometimes I make these projects with the hopes of having companies look at me and say, hey, we got to invest and bring this guy on board. 
Weirdly enough, even though I would not get the job opportunities that I wanted, some doors did open. I got shunned by the animation studios I wanted, but I did get reached out by a game studio, for example. So these are things that you might not know can happen. But I will also say that these are not guaranteed. You can't really expect how people are going to respond to your work. You can't expect a fan base out of it, or you can't, you know, expect people knocking your door, begging for you to work for them. That can happen to some people, that can happen to people over time, but I will remind you guys again not to put all your eggs in one basket, especially in a basket that you have little to no control over it, unless maybe you found a sort of pattern or formula that guarantees this. So now that we did a web like this, we just came up with many different goals, rewards, and expectations of doing a project. The reason why I did them in tiers like this is because they are based on how much control we have over them and the types of awards and expectations we can get from them. If we think about the minimal rewards of the expectations that can absolutely happen, that's more in our power, then we don't have to feel like it's all for nothing. When you move on to the next piece of art or project that you want to do, at least you have the rewards and experiences from the last project that you worked on and do better for this one. Over time, I promise you most of these rewards and goals start to unlock. If you're going to look at high risk rewards only for every project that you do and you don't even gain any of those rewards, you are bound to become jaded and hate the work that you do. If you learn to see the persistence of your work and how to value those experiences while treating yourself better, you're also going to have a healthier mindset when it comes to making your own stuff. But remember, this isn't just about art or personal projects. It can also happen to your own life goals and Healthy Gamer GG talks about this stuff. Great YouTube channel, by the way, where you can't really generalize things or have a binary thinking about how the world works. So let's say if I work out because I want to look attractive and get myself in a relationship, so I would spend many hours working out, losing weight, gaining muscle, and I do all that and, you know, nothing happens. And I see all that effort goes to waste. It was all in vain and I would hate myself for it. But at the same time, I could also say, hey, you know what? I built healthy habits for myself. I got healthier for my own sake. I, I got stronger and it helped me to realize that there are other things that I could work on that isn't just bound to working out. So maybe I didn't get that desired goal that I've wanted, but I've also gotten other things that are actually pretty good for me. So start with goals that are realistic, that are small, and that you have control over. Anyways, that's all. Bye. Interested in learning hand-drawn animation or learning how to finish an animated shot from beginning to end? Have a look at the store where you'll find the complete introduction to 2D animation video course, tutorials, and other resources. Learn classical animation approaches, drawing, lectures, techniques, and other process videos. Visit the store through the link in the description below.